So far, we have seen how to validate individual form controls. In this video, let's see how Angular helps us with form level validation. Whenever we add a form element in the HTML, Angular automatically attaches the ng form directive to the form tag. We can get a reference to that ng form directive with the help of a template reference variable. So we have user form is equal to ng form, pretty much like a variable is equal to ng model. And just like how we have the ng model properties, we have the same properties also available on the ng form directive. So I can bind user form dot form dot valid. And when we take a look at the browser, you can see that it is set to true. If I clear out the name, it changes to false. So the form is invalid. As you can see, ng form provides the overall form validation. And this can be used to disable the submit button of the form until the form is valid. Let's go back to VS Code and to the submit button, we are going to add the disabled property and bind it to the invalid state of the form. So I'm going to add property binding to disabled the condition is user form dot form dot invalid. So whenever the form is invalid, the button gets disabled. Let's test this out and save this head back to the browser. Initially, you can see that the form is valid. So the button is enabled. I clear out the name. You can see that the form is invalid and the button is disabled. Add a name again, the form becomes valid and the submit form button gets enabled. Now this works perfectly fine if you don't have any custom validations that ng form is not tracking. In our example though, we do have the select control validation. A couple of ways we can handle this. The first one, when the submit button is clicked, an event is fired. You can check the value of the field and then proceed with submitting the form. Or for this current example, we can simply add another condition to the disabled property. So to the submit button, to the disabled property binding, we are going to add the condition or topic has error. So the submit button gets disabled when the user form is invalid or the topic field has an error. Now, when we go back to the browser, you can see that the submit button is disabled because a topic has not been selected yet. Select a topic and the button is enabled and you can submit the form. Well, that is about form level validation in template driven forms. Next, let's take a look at submitting this form data to a server when we click on the submit button. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.